wanted to make sure to read something to you that was written by Jamie DeWolf, a friend of the show, a former guest, someone who I'm in contact with here and there who I have great respect for and I have had some of my most fun conversations with. He is the great-grandson of L. Ron Hubbard. And this week marked what would have been L. Ron Hubbard's 111th birthday. And so with giving Jamie DeWolf full credit, knowing also that this was written publicly, so I'm not sharing anything private, he writes, Happy 111th birthday to my great-granddad, L. Ron Hubbard. He's somewhere out in space, marshalling forces against the Galactic Federation. For a man who once wrote that he wanted to smash his name in history, L. Ron's legacy continues to be an open wound in the psyche of the last half century. His victims still walk the streets from Clearwater to Moscow, His words are still hammered into the minds of the young. Though he died decades ago in isolation, except for his ghosts that even an e-meter couldn't exorcise, in the end, Elrond could never escape himself. Maybe he looked in the mirror on that ranch and saw a victory looking back, an old man who never saw a day of jail for all his crimes. A man who achieved his dreams of dying rich with an army of shadow puppets carrying on his charade of a life. Eternal soldiers saluting to statues of the hero that never was. He lived a life with more plot twists than his novels. A military man who went to war with the world and wrote a new past for himself. A student of black magic who would encode his theology into a labyrinth of vampiric control. He wrote a biography of what he wanted to be and trained others to repeat it until he could tell tall tales long after his body was turned to ash. He was my first childhood hero growing up. I had volumes of his work in my bookshelf as I typed away at my own stories. He was smiling in the back covers and I'd write him letters hoping one day he'd read my words. I'd go to bookstores with his daughter and with his son, never knowing he was already in hiding. I didn't know what else was hidden then, the secrets my family kept behind silence. People often ask me if I have love for my great-grandfather, if I admire him in any way. Sure I do. I admire his audacity, his brilliance. I admire his guts. I find him as entertaining as the dozens of storytellers, comedians, and poets that I've toured with. I play his recordings, and we laugh. But his hunger for control and cash at the sake of someone else's sanity is difficult to forgive. The damage he did with his time on the planet still echoes until today. I'm related to three L. Ron Hubbards, all men who took that name and went another way. I've spent my life adamantly trying to be everything he's not. He sold people lies. I try to tell ugly truths. He manipulated millions. And I teach writing to youth and tell them to never forget the power of their own voice. My family hasn't fully told our story yet. I hope we won't die with our secrets. But we're living evidence he wasn't the man he said he was. If he's out there watching, his malevolent narcissism would be warming his hands over all of us talking about him again. But let's tell his true story, the one he wouldn't tell the world. <laughs>